Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we're going to be doing another video of checking out one of your guys' solar systems. So today we are on part 137 of this series and we have got one system to check out from the user UI Scooty in Discord so massive thank you to them for sending this in but without further ado guys let's just get straight into this. So they um, it was a workshop simulation I actually had to go and get so it's on the subscribe here but before we start actually guys um, just heads up as always if you would like to send in your own systems for this series make sure to join my Discord server link in the description and then you can send me the link to your workshop on there you can upload the file itself um, there as well they both work or you can let me the name of the system in the comments section but please note i may lose the comment it could go in my spam box or i may not see it at all so yeah please keep that in mind but yeah the discord is a lot more reliable when it goes straight into a queue when you upload it there so yeah just um yeah, a lot better, basically. But, um, yeah, anyways, the system we're checking out today is called the Rainbow System. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a typo. It's going to be Rainbow, but, yeah, Rainbow System Binary Update 2. So, let's see what UI Scooty has prepared for us here. So, here we go. And I'm guessing that's their Discord name. Oh, not the Discord name, their um, Steam name there. But, okay, so, cool binary green and blue stars, Update 2. Okay, right. So, here it is. So, let's, uh, let's get a uh, look. So, there's another star over there. So, okay, we've got quite a decent amount of objects. So, I'm guessing there's two whole different systems in here. So we've got the yellow star over here and then a green one over there by the looks of it. Yeah, anyways, let's go on to the um, object itself here. Right, let's get started. So, yellow. So here we go. Nice. That's a nice looking star. Loving it. Really, really nice shade there. All right, so let's just turn off the zones as well. It's similar stats to our sun. A little larger in both of the um, mass and radius. But it's slightly hotter and double the luminosity right there. And it is in the binary with a rocky planet out of all things. Okay. So that's pretty interesting. A 1.3 object mass of Sun. It's in a binary with an object only two masses of Earth. 2.2. That's pretty, pretty interesting there. But yeah, here is the first planet. So it's a good temperature here. 19 degrees. I'm guessing it's going to have very nice stats indeed. I don't know what's going on here though. Uh, but yeah, I'm guessing it's going to have very, very nice stats. Um, where are we? God, I always forget where they are. All right, so 93 and then 40 there. So yeah, pretty good stats on it there. And we'll go on um, Studio just so we can see the planet. So it's a yeah, green surface mostly, um, and then it had some city lights on it also. So there we go. You can see some of them are slightly behind. But yeah, there we go. So that is the first object. And it also has a moon as well. A very The moon is very similar to the parent planet also. So there we go here. And the stats on this as well. So we have got 70 and 0 0.5. So there we are there. So there is that planet. Right. Moving on. So the next one over here. So the next one out, it's an all-frozen world by the looks of it here. Obviously, it's yellow because of the starlight, but you can see in the uh, image up here, that's what it actually looks like. So there's a few bits of land sticking out um, on that massive ice ocean. But yeah, there we go. So there is that one. Right. So now moving on to this object out here. So this is object number four now. Right. So here we go. And again, another, yeah, an all-white pearl world. So there we go. It doesn't look like it's got ice on it. It's just, oh, no, no, it does not. It has got ice. Okay, never mind. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's quite hard to tell when the, with um, the starlight being yellow there. Right, there we go. Next object out, the first of the gas giants. So minus 250 degrees here, very, very cold. But yeah, there we go. Larger than Neptune um, and Uranus. Got way less mass though, only 4.4 .4 Earths. So there we are. Right, uh, now we have another one, another frozen world out here. Got a blue atmosphere on it too. So there we go. So looking good. So there is the... Um, surface there got a few patches of uh i'm guessing that surface that can't be water at minus 269 but knowing this game with the glitches possibly but um yeah there we go so that's suspa right there we go right now taking a massive jump out to the next object we've got another gas giant sort of in like chocolatey colors um all the way out here so there we go but very very dark as well we're getting on the very edge of the starlight for that yellow star now so i'm guessing this must be pretty far away at um 46 au yep yeah. 300 years to orbit the star. Yeah, 301. Right, and then um, last object around the yellow star out here. So this one is even further away. It's completely dark here, so we have to go by the image up here. So it's another all-frozen world, as we can see. And yeah, 96 AU away from the star. So yeah, very, very far right there. So there we go. Right, so that does it for the yellow star's solar system there. So yeah, I, like, I do like that yellow star. Very nice indeed. Right, so now we're taking a massive jump out. So we're going to this green star next. And yeah, I believe that's the only other star in here. Right, so what have we got down here? Right, okay, and there's also a blue star. So those two in a binary... Well, no, the blue star's orbiting the green star, okay. 
Right, so the green star is one point, so yeah, very, very similar set to the sun, even closer than the yellow one. It's a nice, bright lime green, as we can see here. Very nice um, shade there. Right, onto the planet. So here is rain beer, or rainbow. Um, so here we go, very nice uh, mix of colours here. But as we can see, because the star's green, it's actually making some of the blue areas look slightly more green. So if we go on studio, there's what it um, is actually looking like. So there we go. So a nice rainbow gas giant there. Similar size to the um, gas giant we saw before. Slightly larger in radius, but still not as large in mass um, as the Uranus or Neptune there. But yeah, there we go. It's a nice object there. It has one moon as well, called Fluss, um, in orbit over here. So there we go. 16 degrees here. So pretty, uh, not too bad. Right, there we go. Right, then we also have a dwarf planet here on a very, very crazy orbit up here. So that's all by itself. If we go back to realistic, a lot of green. <laughs> but yeah, there we are. Right. So now we're taking a massive jump to the blue star now, which is a lot dimmer. It's a lot smaller, so I'm guessing it's more of a red dwarf-like star. So if we look at the stats, similar to a red dwarf in mass, similar to a red dwarf in radius. Uh, surface temperature, again, similar. And luminosity, yeah, very dim. So this is definitely some kind of blue red dwarf, and it's got a ton of fragments around. It looks like a planet's been torn to shreds um, around here. I'm guessing it was uh, this object here. This must have used to... Yeah, this, this clearly was bigger at one point, but I'm guessing, um, yeah... It's been torn apart by the Bruce limit of the star. I mean, we can try and make it larger just to see what it used to look like. So, any any unique colours? Okay, so that's what it looked like. Something like that. So, there we go. So, obviously, the starlight making it look very fancy indeed, actually. But, yeah, we can see in the image up here, that's what it actually looked like. But, yeah, the starlight making it look pretty cool with the green and the blue. Look at that. So, obviously, we've got the green star um, somewhere. So there's the green, and then obviously the blue star is right in its face, which has uh, shredded it to pieces, which is um, what this little asteroid belt's all about. Um, and then obviously we can see the fragments as well. So there we go. So destroyed Roosh Limit planet here. We don't see objects like that in uh, systems uh, most of the time. We've also got another object out here, which must have been uh, tossed a little further out. That's all about. So we see a massive smoke trail coming off of it. But yeah, there we go. Right, and out onto the planet. So we've got a uh, more default-looking object over here. So yeah, just... Um, basic old rocky there not really uh, too much going on so there we go the starlight makes it look really interesting though with like the green and the blue shades there that looks awesome so there we go and then next object out so Christmas or Christmas so um, yeah this one's got shades of red and green on it there so very um, festive colors here well that's looking pretty crazy and yeah there are the colors so yeah three reds two greens so there we go there and obviously the starlight may make it look slightly different. Yeah, as we can see, it's slightly more tone of green on it due to the green star nearby. And then next one out, Tunic over here. So another Earth-like world. And oh my god, the starlight makes it look so cool. Like the blue, the green, that does look awesome. And it's obviously got some lights as well. The stats-wise, let's have a look. 93 and 75, that's the best one in here by far. So there we go. 13 degrees. Pretty, uh, pretty fancy looking world with the two stars on it as well. I mean, we've got the, the blue star over there. So if we just turn off all the orbits. So we've got our main blue red dwarf over there. And then the green star off in the distance over there. So there we go. So distance from the blue star with 24, um, 24, yeah, so 24 day orbit in AU. That's 0.8% of so the Earth's orbit. Right, and then compared to the green star, let's actually open the object menu here. So we can actually see how far it is from the green star if the object menu would open of course because um yeah whenever i'm recording the menu takes forever to open if i click anything the game doesn't like that does not appreciate it uh, one bit let's put orbits in a okay so there we go so now if let's open the menu again open straight away so how far away is the blue from the green okay so it's roughly about two au away by the looks of it three four two three four au 5 AU maybe, so yeah, not really too far, too far out, so yeah, it's definitely uh, in the area to get plenty of light from the green star, as we can see there, so looking good. Right, and then the last object of the day, all the way down here, Monaret, or Monaret, so here we go here, getting a lot of uh, light from the green and blue star on both sides here, so not much night time um, on this object at the moment, so it looks like it's tilted on its side, we can see the south pole there, or the north pole, depending on what it is. Um, but yeah, there we go. And yeah, it's a, uh, quite a desert looking world from the uh, picture on the top right here. But obviously the starlight makes it look completely different. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system. Yeah, I believe that is everything. So if we just zoom out, there's our yellow star. And yeah, I believe that is everything. So let's get a lineup of the object list here. There we go. Very, very colourful stars indeed. I mean, the yellow and green, they're very, very vibrant colours, aren't they? I mean, look at that. 
yeah, really nice shades. Not seen anyone do uh, shades like that before. So then moving on to the um, planets. So where are we here? Right, there we go. I did say I did look. I did quite like this gas chamber. But I think yeah, obviously the rainbow. That's definitely going to be one of the highlights here. And then onto the rocky planets. Did like the uh, colonized ones. But yeah, I think the cake goes to this one. Not just um, of the way its original appearance. It's just because where it's located. Because if we go back to it quickly, have a quick peek at it. Just due to its location of having the green and the blue light on it at the same time, I think that looks awesome. I really like that. So that's so, it's yeah, the starlight has actually uh, made it my favourite. Just due to its location in the system as well. Usually I just go by the planet's appearance, but just where the location of the planet is in the system, that's making it uh, one of my favourites. Um, and then there we go, the light, the lineup of the rest of the objects. Also, there's a bun of burning fragments from that object that got torn apart by a Roosh limit as well. But yeah, there we go. So that does it for this system, guys. So yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed um, this system. So yeah, this was the Rain Beer system, wasn't it? Or Rainbow. Yeah, so Rain Bear system binary update too. So yeah, massive thank you again to the creator UI Scooty on Discord for sending this system in. Also, guys, if you want to send your own systems in, make sure to uh, join my Discord, follow the instructions like I said at the um, start of the video um, with that as well. And yeah, that is everything, guys. So let's see if we can go for 30 likes on today's video, guys. Subscribe for new helps on the journey to 16,000 subscribers. And yeah, make sure you stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.